good friend of mine, a show that I do a lot. Uh, we don't talk about other podcasts on here very often, but because of this incident that took place last night, I feel compelled to be able to, to, um, to have to share this with you. Tim Pool, uh, who runs Timcast IRL, which you know I go on pretty frequently, was swatted during a live broadcast. Now, I wasn't on the show. It was last night. Uh, I was on the show on Tuesday night of this week. Uh, Brandon Tatum, believe it or not, uh, former officer Brandon Tatum was actually in the room on live air when it took place. So let me show you a clip. What is swatting? Swatting means when someone calls the police and makes a fake report of an active shooter so that, to induce a police response, an aggressive police response to the household. Go take a look at what just happened. I don't know who let them in or why. Yeah, what happened? Uh, I understand they're here because we got swatted. A report was made that two people had been shot and killed and that the gunman was threatening to to hurt themselves. They didn't send a SWAT team. It was just a couple of officers. I don't want to drag them or be mean to them because they were polite. But I'm not happy with the idea that they're walking into our studio while we are live. They're walking around. Cop immediately, I, I walked out of the room. He immediately came up and said, I'm really, really sorry about this. We're not trying to you know, screw with you or, or, or ruin what you're doing. Here's what happened. We got a call. Two people had been shot and killed and a person was going to be killing themselves. We have to check it out and make sure everything's okay. We're going to be doing a sweep once we figure it out. And I'm just like, come but, back with a warrant. So this is horrific. Um, you have a situation here and I've, I've talked to Tim. I've talked to his producer, Lydia, afterwards. You know, we were even in discussion this morning. Um, we're working on getting a copy of that call to see if we can actually get that. They do have some of the radio chatter. So the police, and thank God for this, but the police knew that it was a swatting attempt. They knew that there was like a political talk show going on. They actually say that on the radio. They say, hey, they're doing a political you know, show in there. I think this is a swatting thing. But at the same time, you had eight police officers that showed up. You can only see two of them on the actual video. If you go look at the clip and they're walking past the cameras, you can't really see them that, that well. You just see these sort of blue uniforms go by. But understand what this was. This was tantamount to an attempted murder attempt because what they were doing was they wanted the police to go there and they wanted to provoke a response from Tim and from the other people. He's got, by the way, that's a whole you know studio where they're running and he's got multiple people in there at any given time, especially while the show is going. They specifically timed it to occur when the show was live on air. So whoever did this did so wanting to d disrupt his show, and he wanted the police to go in there guns blazing. And thank God they didn't. Thank God they realized and had the wherewithal to understand what was going on. But at the same time, you got to understand this is the world we live in now. This isn't a prank. This isn't a joke. This is people's lives literally on the line. Because the police bust in and they said, hey, exigent circumstances, we don't need a warrant. We got a report of an active shooter. We got a report that people have been killed. We have a report that someone um, could kill themselves or others. And so they go in. None of it was true. Completely a lie, completely a hoax. And they wanted to provoke a response because they know, and Tim talks about this frequently, that he's a gun owner, that has all of his guns, they're legally owned. He has them there. He's even talked, one of the last times when I was on a show, he actually talked about how he was reaching out to the state police where he is to see if he needed to have any kind of registry or what he needed. He wanted to make sure that everything was above board. But what would have happened if you actually did get a SWAT team that rolled in and someone said, hey, this is a guy who's got a lot of weapons. We need to be careful, et cetera, et cetera. You can do the math on that. Now, whoever this is, I hope they get found and I hope they get prosecuted. And I want to get all the evidence of exactly who it was and whether they used, you know, a VPN or a Google voice or a burner, whatever it was, you're going to get found and you're going to get caught and you are going to go to jail because what you committed was a murder attempt and you're not going to get away with it. This is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.